Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yoyis and I'm a makeup and lash artist in the Las Vegas area. I am a home-based lash artist. Oh. I wish I would have recorded how I transitioned from a lash organizer cart into a bookshelf and the reasons why I did that. But just to give you an overview, I did it just because the organizer cart was too small and it just wasn't able to store everything that I wanted to or organize it the way I wanted to just because of how small it is. And on top of it, it's made out of metal, so it made too much noise. And if I did have a client that was sleeping, it would just, it would wake them up. So, I decided to transition over to a bookshelf just because it gave me that enough space that I needed. And it is in a place where my lash bed is in front of me, my client's in front of me. And if I do need something, I'm able to turn around, grab what I need as fast as possible without making any noise so I don't wake up my client. So, if you do want to see how I organize and store everything in a bookshelf, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so for this portion of the video, I am going to be doing everything by hand. So as you can see, my bed is off to the right over here, and then right behind it, I have my chair, and then right behind that, I have my bookshelf, as you can see. And the reason why I decided to do this is because it was just very convenient for me to have everything right behind me in case I need to reach for something, and I do have my little trash can right there. That way, if I need to throw away tape or anything, it's it's easily right there. I was looking for a stool and I feel like if I needed a stretch, I wanted support for my back without me having to fall over my chair. <laughs> so I ended up going with this Ikea chair. I think it was about pretty affordable. I would say less than $50. Probably between 40 bucks, but don't quote me. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, so as you can see, everything that I need is right here. And then I do have this Soko glue here. I don't normally keep my glues out. I just got this in the mail, so I need to put this away. <laughs> but let's get started on this side. And on this side, it's just a regular little white container. I think I got this at Walmart. I pretty much just store like extra foam tape that I got on Amazon. And I had I thought I had ordered a certain size, but it ended up coming out way smaller than I wanted. So I don't use these, and I just store them there just in case. And then I do have my... Uh, glue stickers but up here i do have my jeffree star mirror jeffree star cosmetics and i love this just because it's big enough and whenever i'm done with the client then i'm able to hand them the mirror and that way they can see the results afterwards so i do recommend a mirror and this works and then here i just have the, an old fan that i don't use and then i have brushes here that i um in case i do run out from my other one then i could easily come here and then grab what i need to refill over there and then these last three are just my my face mask. I, honestly i'll have a tic tac in my mouth every time it runs out i'll put a new one in there <laughs> just because i don't i'm very self-conscious about having stingy breath and on top of it you're working over your clients and your head is right there you don't want them to be smelling your breath so you need a face mask and mint at all times at all times that's a that's a big no-no if you're not doing that <laughs> and then up here as you can see I have my my ring light and if you haven't seen my must-have videos then i do recommend a ring light if you are struggling with good lighting to take good photos so i keep that up here just for if you haven't seen my uh beginner lash starter kit i did recommend this little container to store these little spoolies and i love it because it's the perfect size for it i don't know if you guys have seen where they store their spoolies right out in the open I don't like that. I feel like it's unsanitary. So I prefer keeping them closed up in a little container. That way it's just, it's more cleaner because if you have things out like this, it they tend to catch dust. Even if you're cleaning them every single day, you're dusting everything, 
it tends to catch dust. So you don't want to be to have your spoolies out in the open. You want them to be in a closed container or in the little sealed packages that they come in. Just because it's cleaner, you're dealing with people's eyes. Obviously, the, the more you have things clean, the better. So yes, I put my micro swabs, my spoolies, my lipstick um, applicators. I have all of that in here for easy access. I love it because it's a perfect size. So and moving down, down, as you can see, I do have my fan bunny up here. Yeah, Let's keep it here. And then to get started with this, I try not to over stuff everything. So I try to keep everything just nice and simple. And then on the first row, I always keep my uh, tools and as you can see I don't have that many of them just because I am cleaning I have some in my bathroom that I need to wash and sanitize and then I can store them away but all these tools I do not put them in here if they are not sanitized and then here I keep my lint free wipes just because the, you know it's easy to store it's easy to grab them and then from there I my first drawer is always the lash tiles that I use and I always keep my classics in a white tile and my volume and mega volumes because I use Soko lashes and her lashes are the 0 0.4 uh, unicorn lashes and I love using those because I'm able to do small enough fans for volume and thicker fans for for mega without having so much weight on them this first row is the the ones that I use the most as you could tell and then down here it's more lash my more lash tiles and then these I don't normally go for these like ones that. are old lashes that I don't use uh, they are the the live bay lashes and the Lashbox LA and that's why I store them on here because I don't I don't use it so they just they're just there and then down here this dog dude <laughs> down here I have all my tapes this is the obviously the next care blue tape balm this is the only glue that has ever worked for me that hasn't let me down it's sensitive enough but yet strong enough and do not mind my don't mind my nails I know my nails are ugly but still <laughs> um, but the next card tape it is bomb and then these little glue um, needles and then glue rings and then down here this is what I do uh, cut up my my glue stickers then I, I always cut them out into little squares like this that way it's one single sticker and I just grab a bunch of them and put them in on my lash pillow and then from there I'm able to just put one glue dot crystallize it and then throw it away and I love it because it's it's so easy for me. If you're looking for a simpler way, then I recommend doing that. So moving on over here, like I said, I need to put the silica glue away. I do have my, it's a pretty much tracks your community. And I do live in a second story. Um, and my studio is in the, the lot in the second story. The temperature and the humidity is always fluctuating in here. So I always have to be on the lookout. I don't have clients right now, but when I do have a client, I always make sure that my temperature and the humidity is just right. So that way my glue works better. But yes, if you don't have one of these, you do need one. And as you could tell, my temperature is not right in here, but either way, um, doesn't matter right now. <laughs> and then if you haven't seen my must haves, then I do recommend you watching my most haves because in there I talk about this little baby right here, this little guy. I'm not going to talk about it because if I do get started, then I'm never going to finish. <laughs> but yes, if you do want to see my uh, what this is, then I recommend going and watching my must have videos. That way you know what exactly this is. But yes, I'm not going to tell you just because I want you to go watch that video. So... <laughs> And then I do have my lash pads. I ended up making this a while ago when I was Glow Beauty Lashes. Um, I ended up changing my name to Yoyi's Lash Beauty. And then I always keep tissue paper here. Um, yeah, I always have a pen to map out. And then here I have my mister. And then I have a remover, a gel remover. And then my Lash Box LA Primer that I don't use anymore. And then I have Old Glues, another Lash Bath. And then these containers, I actually got these on Amazon. I actually got them to store my makeup brushes. And realized that they were not what they said they were. <laughs> They're way too little. I can't store my brushes in here. So I ended up just using these for my hand sanitizer and miscellaneous stuff. But yes, if you haven't seen my Lash Starter Kit video then you don't know that these are my must-have hand sanitizers. I cannot live without Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers, especially the Black Cherry Merlot. It is bomb. 
so yeah i just have these two little containers to store my miscellaneous stuff and then i always keep my lashbox la magnifying glasses right in front of them if you haven't seen my must have total game changer videos then I recommend to go watch it because in that video I recommend the Lashbox LA magnifying glasses as a total must have if you are lashing then you need these magnifying glasses because look it doesn't take up that much space it's easy to store and it's cute it comes in a cute little holographic pink case it's so cute okay so that's pretty much just my top row just a quick little overview and I'll have everything linked down below, all the storage, everything. I'll have everything linked down below. That way, if you guys are interested, especially this guy, you guys need this guy. This guy is just perfect for everything. So, if you guys are interested, then I'll have everything linked down below. Okay, okay and for the second row, I did used to have my lash uh tiles stored in these containers when i did have when i was using my lash cart but it was just it it was like over it was all over the place i couldn't fit as much on there so now i use these to store my ipads and then these little i don't know what these damn things are called anyways i use this for my sealer these little brushes i use for my sealer as you can see they're not like lip wands or anything but yes i have all that and then i have the glass beads for the sterilizer and yeah that's pretty much what i have in this container and on this one i have my my little sponge pads in case i do want to practice if i don't have any clients and then i have straws um, I cut these out to put on my spoolie brushes to give to my clients. If you want to see how I how I do that, how I measure them, how I cut them exactly, then I'll have a separate video on that. And then here I'll just have like miscellaneous stuff, which is more of the lip free wipes. Um, can we talk about these little containers? If you haven't seen my must have videos, then I recommend you watching that video just because I I recommended these storage containers and i love them because they fit my lash tiles my lash trays on here so perfectly i look at that if i need a certain length i'll just grab them and don't mind that hole back there <laughs> i used to have a tv on top of here and i cut a little hole <laughs> so don't mind that um but yes i keep this stored on here and it's just so convenient for me because i'm able to just it just looks clean and simple and organized i love it because if i need a certain length i'll go and grab it i did try the lashbox la lashes and i I'm not a big fan of Lashbox LA. If you do love them, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. I just don't. I just don't personally. I've tried pretty much every collection they have, and I just, I just couldn't deal with it. And Sassy Lashes, I was trained through them. They are, they go by Live Bay Lash now. I was trained through them. I ended up buying a lot of product, and I never used them because I ended up switching over to Soko Lashes. And Soko Lashes are my babies. I love Soko Lashes, and I feel like I talk about Soko Lashes in every video. Oh my goodness, don't look at my nails. <laughs> um, but yes, I love Soko Lashes. And these containers are a total life changer just because it stores them right where I need them. And then I'm able to pull them out, grab the length that I need, and then put them back in once I'm done. So that right there is a total must-have. And like I keep saying, if you haven't seen my must-have videos, then I recommend you to go check them out. And then the last row is more miscellaneous stuff, more like cleaning products. On here, I have another one of those little storage bins. I have clean white towels, microfiber towels, and I use these to put on the forehead of my clients. So it's better if you put like a microfiber towel on their forehead. That way, in case your hands do get sweaty, they're not having your sweat all over their forehead. And if they do have makeup, then you don't want to be rubbing it off and having it all over your hands. And then it's just a big hot mess. So I recommend getting microfiber towels and that way it just, it's more clean. And then right here, I have my sterilizer. Of course, you need to clean and disinfect your your tools so i have my barbicide wipes i always wash my tools with disinfecting soap and then i go in with barbicide wipes make sure to get those kill off those extra germs and then i put them in my sterilizer to completely disinfect them and make sure they are squeaky clean and then back there i have more tissue boxes and then i have the dental wipes for my lash pillow that way they're not lying down on my lash pillow 
you know bareheaded <laughs> so i put that for more cleanliness and then i have just a water bottle back there and then down here i have my sealer and my primer my soko lashes sealer and primer and if you haven't seen my must have video then i recommend to go watch it because i recommend these 100 percent and i have them down here just because i don't want my top shelf to be super crowded so i'll keep them down here just because there was that little extra room that i needed and then down th back there i have distilled water you need distilled water <laughs> and then you know towels and then back there is just another shelf that i just have miscellaneous stuff like stuff that i don't really use so that's just pretty much it and then i have my trash can that i need to dump out it's my trash can that i need to dump out so yes guys that's pretty much it on my this dog doesn't stop barking holy moly that's pretty much my lash car lash organizer lash bookshelf whatever you want to call it but that's pretty much how i store everything it's just very convenient for me it helps me out and then it's right behind my my chair so if i need something i could just you know turn around and reach for it so pretty much just to finish off the video i kind of want to show you what i ended up doing with my uh, lash cart i did get this yeah i got this at target for like 50 five dollars you can get cheaper ones at michael and then i will recommend michael's just because you know michael's always has coupons and sales and it's cheaper to get them at michael's and i got and this at home goods for like ten dollars it's really cute so pretty much i just have a candle here i have this cute little flower decor and then i keep uh, an extra like if i have a, a new client that doesn't want to buy my aftercare kit then i give them this it's just an aftercare instruction and then the spoolies you do have trays that you're not using anymore then i recommend doing this it's a very cute idea so yes that's pretty much what i have at the top and then as you can see it's the first thing they see when they come in here and then down here i pretty much just have all my aftercare kit bottles in here and then my brushes i get i do sell them with my aftercare kits i do sell these wet and wild crease brushes i feel like they're just the perfect size and they're white and pink so i usually keep that in there and then down there, I have, you know, the bags that it comes with, some face mask, and then a cute little pink storage box. So that's pretty much just what I use that for now. It's nothing fancy, just the top one. I just like to have it simple and cute because it, it is the first thing and the last thing they see when they come in here. So comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you have other cute ideas of what I could do with my cart, then let me know down below. So, so you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. And if you did like this video and the way I have everything nice and organized, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button because you don't want to miss out on all the new videos that I have coming your way. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.